on and kind of ending which i thought was absolutely hilarious and kind of horrible at the same time as most of you know kanye's got this beef going on at the moment um with tremaine emery who is the creative director of supreme and also has his own brand called denim tears and the beef i guess started because kanye went at that girl called gabriella who was or gabrielle or gabby her, I, i'll just refer to her as gabby who is a stylist and a fashion director i think for vogue magazine and unfairly kanye basically attacked her and ripped her to pieces and kind of started to take the piss out of her flipping high heel dr martin boots and kind of in a way also taking the piss out of her being fat like i felt like the dr martin or the kind of timberland boots were just a way to say hey you got horrible style you got shitty horrible shoes i'm sure anna winter doesn't like and you're fat how can you criticize me my fashion i think that's what you're basically going at you're fat and ugly kind of thing but obviously her being a black woman a prominent black woman a lot of people that kind of have rate and look look at well and obviously her being one of the you know a small group of people in fashion who work for such establishment like Vogue and who are also black it just didn't look good optically right him basically attacking a black woman and doing what he did and just forget her being a black woman just decency the lady didn't even say nothing that crazy about his shirt she saw the white lives matter shirt and kind of was right considerate about everything she shared text messages with somebody she was speaking to and they were kind of going over it and being very considerate um speaking about it in a sort of intellectual um you know sociology kind of way and it really seemed i felt good well intentioned like hey we don't you know we know you think it's art but this sucks kind of premise and for whatever reason this man decided to kind of go and attack them attack her specifically and then that's what made tremaine kind of say hey enough is enough you're not going to attack my friend and he basically you know spilled all the tea and let us know that hey behind the scenes no one actually likes you like that um to the point where virgil didn't invite him to the private funeral or didn't let him speak at the public funeral and i think since then um for once someone pulled Kanye's card because he definitely does that a lot right he's the one that too quick to share the text messages and say stuff like there's no such thing as a private conversation but I think the fact that Tremaine jumped out the window and pulled his card and exposed something that only people behind the scenes or in the social group know about him not being invited to the wedding to the sorry to the funeral and that clearly there was a lot of tension behind the scenes with him and Virgil even you know towards you know the end of his life it just made him look really funny in terms of kind it makes him look really really funny and horrible and like even to someone like myself who's a big fan of him and I think personally that cut a lot deeper than Kanye is trying to basically lay it out to be which is why he's going so hard at Tremaine because he's somebody that you know you can't say Tremaine's lying you can't say he's cloud chasing either because he's never kind of been that guy and he was somebody that was obviously very close to Kanye he worked very closely with him at Yeezy um I don't think he was done the times he was working I think it was most of a Yeezy thing because I remember him wearing Yeezy shoes a lot um he clearly has got his own thing going on he operates in a different sort of maybe social groups and whatever it maybe it is um and just kind of just the way he carries himself you wouldn't necessarily think he was somebody that would want to clash off the back of it so the fact that he said what he said and the fact that he was so close to Virgil would lead people to believe that that was true and the fact that Kanye has not really addressed any of those points that thing he set out or the questions he opened any questions about why weren't you invited to the private funeral and why weren't you allowed to talk it's clear to see that it cut deep with Kanye and he didn't like it especially because it exposed the truth in it that he is a piece of shit behind the scenes um he's a piece of shit to his friends he's a piece of shit to his colleagues a piece of shit to his employees at times and he has that tendency to do that and because he is who he is and he's so influential and he's so amazing and so talented people just excuse it but i guess some of these group of friends didn't excuse it which i'm happy to see because i've said for the longest time as even as a friend of his i think his friends have enabled him throughout the years um and just kind of excused his horrible behavior because he's an absolute genius when it comes to music when it comes to fashion when it comes to sneakers but i guess like at this point in time because everything that's going on in the world people are like enough's enough you know no amount of shoes no amount of clothes can and kind of excuse bad behavior bad intentions and all that malarkey so off the back of that Kanye has been going hard and basically labeled you know Tremaine by his new name now that he's given him which is called Tremendous and he's basically alleged that he is a BLM officer for Supreme and he also decided I think sometime during the beginning of the week or maybe last week um somebody online basically shared a tweet that basically showed that he copyrighted and trademarked a few flipping words and sayings and one of them being tremendous and now he went even a step further by making a t-shirt out of it which is absolutely hilarious but also super infuriating if you're probably Tremaine 
And if it was me, it would be something that I would definitely say would be a green light to say, hey, we have to throw hands. We have to get down. We have to fight because this has gone too far. You're now taking the piss on another level. So this is courtesy of Over Under. It says Kanye West will be on Drink Champs today at 9 p.m. He wore a new tremendous shirt designed, or sorry, inspired by Supreme's Spring Summer 14 40 Deuces t-shirt made by Fade, directed by Ian Connor. The funny thing is this original design by Supreme um, that was put out in 2014 and designed by this artist called Fade, he's actually the same person that designed this flip. So he designed a flip that features Tremaine's face on it instead of this kind of um, chucky clown figure that whatever it may be. And it's got the same basically body and everything else with a knife in the hand. And then it's got um, the, the, the T instead of the S on the, on the chain. And then it's got Tremaine's face on there as well, done pretty well in terms of a face on the actual T-shirt. So it's an actual brilliant idea, um, especially something that Ian Connor kind of creative directed behind the scenes with uh, flipping Kanye West. But like I said, if this was me this would be a point um to really kind of throw hands and as whack 100 says get down um no way you can be making a mockery of me like this on social media this is just too much in my opinion it really does feel like it's too much kind of out here with this t-shirt rocking it proudly and going to be selling it and i also if i'm not mistaken i saw a tremendous box logo t-shirt too um with the actual proper embroidered box logo with a nice hoodie i think the hoodie was like navy and the box logo was red and white so the classic supreme box logo flipped done that way and there's another flip too that um, um ian connor's kind of directed which is something that i am familiar with it says nori previews a new muhammad ali v superman t-shirt with kanye west as ali and tremaine over as superman the t was designed by ian connor and inspired by supreme shirt released in 2000 it's funny because i designed something similar like this back in the day when i used to go to church and shit i was working with some dude who i'm still friends with now and he wanted us to do a t-shirt line and i kind of was going to flip this tee and design it with some different face i've got what we were planning with him but when i did my other one outside of this i designed one with chris brown and drake when they were going through their um, beef with their beef that they were having because of rihanna right because they were both kind of dating rihanna at the time or whatnot or back to back and i remember designing this t-shirt with um with uh, Chris Brown being Ali and Drake being Superman. That's what I kind of designed it as. And I had to kind of just flip on this kind of thing. Um, same sort of thing. So it's funny that they're doing the second same thing. And of course, in the T-shirt, you got uh, Ali or Azizi um, of uh, the Ali thing. And he's got the boots on as well. And the Tremaine thing with the dreads and the face. Like, it's pretty well done. I'm not going to lie. They've done a really good job of it. And Nori's wearing it wore it proud and stuff. And it's become a shirt that they're taking the piss out of him for. Um, it's pretty iconic. I'm not going to lie. Um and again, a, a real staple, a real kind of archive kind of Supreme T-shirt. I think inspired by like an old DC Comics magazine cover featuring Muhammad Ali and Supreme and uh, Superman saw on the cover as well. But like I said, this is um, incredibly rude, incredibly. Jokes aside and ha ha he he's aside, it's incredibly, incredibly, incredibly rude and clearly goes to show that despite whatever history Tremaine and Kanye have, just because he dared to kind of air him out in the same way Kanye airs out other people, and speak his truth and stand up for his friend in Gabby. Now, Super now basically, Kanye is kind of, you know, declared DEFCON free on flipping Tremaine in terms of trying to make him look dumb, in trying to maybe ridicule him in public and just not be somebody that you describe as a friend, didn't it? Because if you're a friend and you're going for a spat, you maybe could decide to maybe pick up the phone call, so pick up the phone, make a call, um, talk through your issues, whatever it may be, meet up in person. But the fact that he's doing what he's doing now just, I think, goes to prove that deep down, Kanye is not a decent person. You know, I love him as an artist um, and what he does, but as a human, not the best. The fact that he can go so hard on people who were your friend at once goes to show that there were maybe some um, buried feelings in it that he was kind of, you know, covering at the point because he was not say using Tremaine, but he was useful at the time for him. And the moment he, you know, wasn't of use, he kind of moved. But I knew something was off because I remember I said before that um, I saw a, I was watching an interview with Tremaine actually that was on the Virgil Abloh channel. I think it was part of his. Um, of his scholarship fund that he has going on and he was sitting down there talking to some of the kids about his history and i think in 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 all of those sort of um shows if i'm not mistaken uh interviews they have the person who's the guest run through their kind of um 
run through their CV, run through their kind of working history in kind of excessive details because obviously they give, they give a lecture to kids who want to get in the industry too. So it might be worth to kind of just speak to them openly and clearly about your career so that they can have an idea of how long it actually takes to be successful, get inspired, see the route that you took, see it's so unconventional, blah, blah, blah. And he spoke in detail about his come up, but he made a point to say, I was at Yeezy, but then I got fired which you don't really hear people say often in a scene. It's kind of like you don't ever mention where you got fired or if you got let go or whatever, maybe. It's always kind of just like, you know, suddenly you're here, then you're dead, then you're here, but no one actually says the reasons why uh, behind it because obviously you don't want to sully your name and you just want to keep up the illusion that you're this, you know, this amazing person at your job, whatever maybe I don't know. But the fact that he was so clear to say that, I think, um, was a real obvious uh, sort of insight into the fact that maybe something something untowards happened do you know what i mean oh this is interesting i'm just check i'm just checking a tremendous um searching him on the twitter twitter and it's saying here this is one of one of his first designs coming up i'm not sure this is true this is cursor Kurt, drops by bay it's a tweet here that says um Hearing this is one of Tremaine's first designs for Supreme as creative director. Next season will be his first season where he's full control over everything. And the one of the first pieces that he was he kind of designed was this hoodie that says Prime. So no soup Prime was on the front. That looks pretty sick. That's what they're saying. I'm not sure if that's true, but that looks pretty sick. I love that hoodie, man. Not gonna lie, that hoodie was absolutely mad. Let me see what people are saying in the in the comments about it because I'm not sure if that's actually true. It seems a bit too good to be true um this is it besides designs we've heard he has already small things yeah okay this is really true this is really cool too about Tremaine and Supreme what he's doing because I love this implementation Kershaw Supreme drops who do does get some good information they say besides designs we've heard that he has already decided small things are no VIP in Bowery which is awesome so you all queue so all that kind of jumping in front of your VIP is null and void everyone queues up um to get their stuff um so finally some level of democracy and that's the thing I enjoyed a lot when I was used to come up in the scene and I was queuing outside a foot patrol and busy workshop and hideout and stuff back in the no hideout most but busy workshop and foot patrol and stuff as well back in the day was that there was a meritocracy about it right there was a democracy about it if you got there first you were in there first there was no you got there first and then the friend comes in in the front no 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 no. you first you go in first it was always treated well like that I like that and the fact that he's done that or implemented that back at Supreme is nice it's just changing the ticket system and stricter functioning okay nice um no barrier be no barrier is tremendous. That launch for the SB Lows was appalling. Do you know the ticket system? He's been changed. Let's see what they're saying here. They were given they they're given bracelets. Not sure exactly how as I don't live there. Okay, cool. Hopefully he gets a little more creative than this. <laughs> You're saying, but yeah, I like it. So I'm, I'm eager to see what else he puts forward as supreme as creative director. But like I said, I think. This whole stuff is completely rude and completely unnecessary. Um, I don't like it because they're all friends at all. F they're all friends at one point, but again, to me, it's not surprising. Somebody who was kind of in the scene and involved in this industry for a long time, and who kind of purposely took a step back. These people are all full of shit. They all pretend like they're friends when they're of use to each other. Then the moment they're not of use to each other, the backbiting and the backstabbing and the back talking kind of comes into play. And the thing that I hate the most about all this stuff is that, you know, you can't necessarily go and fight Kanye anyway because he's clearly giving Karen energy, right? That thing he did recently with Diddy where and Boosie was like, you know, antagonizing both of those guys. And then he basically said, Oh, if anything happens to him, those are going to be the two main suspects. It's like, bruv, that's strong Karen energy. You can't be, you know, antagonizing people and then kind of pleading victim. He did the same thing to Tremaine. I oh, said, oh, you're threatening me. You're threatening me by wanting to expose the Texas and, you know, reveal the truth. And then he went and did all this stuff. But of course, if you're Tremaine too, you can't sit on your high horse and be all high and mighty over this because you decided to get in a muck by publicly kind of airing out business that you probably shouldn't have aired out because no one needed to know what you needed to know about the Virgil thing. But, you know, this is all those guys' business. So let's see what happens and transpires now going forward. The, the flipping, the Kanye West and Nori interview number three is coming up um, hopefully soon. So I'll be able to react to that and give you my impression on it going forward. But it's a bit messy. I don't like all this stuff. It's nonsense. It's hor horrible. And if it was me, I'd want to fight the guy instantly. But considering what how he's going on and how he's rolling, if you try and fight him, he's going to probably charge and white you in it. So it might not be the best thing to do going forward, I don't think so.